Good morning, friends. Welcome to another video. I'm coming to you live from where I finished my last video unexpectedly <laughs> from my bed. Hello. Eric and I got the flu. So I will link up here the last vlog we did, our last couple of days of 2023. It's now 2024. And I am feeling definitely not 100%, but certainly much better. I have been in a flu haze for the past two days. Our house is, well, it looks like two sick people have lived here for three days. So it's pretty bad. I am disgusting. I haven't showered in two and a half days. The sheets are horrible. We just, I'm going to go back to work tomorrow. I'm going to get lots of rest today, but... I'm gonna take you along with me to do some serious cleaning because we need to get the house reset and looking a lot better than it currently does. It's really bad. I'll show you the sickness grossness. Ugh. Welcome to a deep clean with me. First things first, I don't even know why there's a towel right here. I should ask Eric that. It's literally been sitting here for two days. I just saw it one day and I was like, I wonder what that was here for. I don't know, we'll have to deal with that. But the laundry that I was in the middle of doing before I got sick has been sitting in there for three days now. So that needs to be taken care of. We're gonna have to start this again to wash because I'm sure it smells horrible. And I need to probably fluff this laundry. So let's do that. Get a fresh laundry pod. Try not to smell it. Blech. Okay, the bedroom, believe it or not, is not as bad as it was. Um, we've got some Eric clothes over here, a broom because we were trying to get something out from under the bed that the dogs were fighting over. I just have two cups on my nightstand from today and last night. And then over here on the nightstand is just some random stuff. Believe it or not, this is actually a lot better than it was last night. Last night, I had like five drinks on my table. I had like all of our leftover food over here that we had been ordering because neither one of us were well enough to cook anything. And so we literally just door dashed soup. It was pretty pitiful. So like all of my soup containers were all over. Ow, it still hurts to laugh. I threw up so violently that my abs felt like I did an insane workout. I did not in fact throw away any of the food trash. I just moved it all from the bedroom to the kitchen. So I'll show you that mess, let's go. Oh, and the bathroom's probably really bad too. Let me show you that. Yeah, this is medicine station up in here. Ay, ay, ay. We're living our best lives. The living room isn't too bad, just some of Eric's drinks. And Scrimpy, <laughs> show the vlog what happened to you. Hello. <laughs> Can you guys tell just by looking at him? Scrimpy got viral pink eye from his cold symptoms. You're feeling better though, right? Yeah, I we... just still have a cough, which, you know, makes me not want to be up and around doing stuff, but I feel yeah. okay. Well, and your eye is yeah. not good looking, so. Rude. I mean, it's not objectively, sorry, but it's true. So the kitchen was in a pretty good state before we... <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Also, we got so desperate that the only place in town to order chicken soup from was Chick-fil-A, which we don't typically support, but we were so desperate we just had to do it. I'm sorry, so we should probably donate the total of our Chick-fil-A to the Trevor Project or something, but this is the snacks we took from New Year's Eve, which was three days ago at this point. It's really just trash that needs to be thrown away and the counters wiped down. It's, it's not that bad, truly. This is Eric's giant bucket that he got with some Christmas money. My grandparents and Aunt Darley gave him Amazon gift cards and he immediately spent them on baking things. And this giant bucket was one of them for bread dough. So anyway, we need to just like clean and <laughs> disinfect mostly the bathroom. Ew. Ew. I'm not going to show you many close-ups of the bathroom because you don't want to see that, okay? First things first, I'm going to tidy everything in the bedroom and get the sheets off the bed. Maybe do some vacuuming. Oh, and after we do a clean in this video, I kind of want to relax and maybe work on my book journal for the year. And I need to like shower and take care of my filth. 
So ugh, let's start in the bedroom, okay? Ay, ay, ay. I just figured out what the mystery towel on the floor was for. Long story short. You don't wanna know. Let's clean this bedroom up. Oh, hello, it's voiceover Miley here. I am feeling so much better, back to my normal self, thank goodness. Let me just tell you, the flu is no joke. When I was younger, I low-key liked getting sick because I could stay at home and do nothing all day and my mother would like be so doting to me and I loved it. When you're sick as an adult and your husband's also sick so there's no one to take care of you, it really sucks. <laughs> also that one weird clip with Eric on the floor lifting our bed up was because our rug was starting to pull and I needed to flatten it back out. So in case you didn't understand. Also there was me deciding I was working too hard and needed to lay down for two minutes. <laughs> Okay, this is much better. I've got all the sheets pulled off. Gonna get those rotated through the wash. I wiped down our bedside tables and cleared this guy off and wiped it down. Vacuumed everything. It feels so much better in here. I am also tired just from doing that. So I think I'm gonna try to knock out the bathroom and then maybe take a little break. Maybe take a shower and then do the kitchen later. So let's go to the bathroom. It's so bad in here. Wait. When I tell you this counter just had like trash all over it when the trash can is literally not even a foot away from the counter, that's how sick we were. We couldn't even throw trash away in the trash can. <laughs> also, the cups Eric was taking Dayquil and NyQuil out of, he never rinsed them out. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh, we were so sick, you guys. It was so bad. Anyway, thankfully, in this little cleaning session, our cleaners had just come like a couple days before. So the only mess that needed to be cleaned up was actual like sick mess, which was really, really nice. Also, sorry if you can hear my dogs breathing. Oh my gosh, you guys. It feels so nice to have a clean bathroom. Please look at my crazy hair. Oh my gosh. Let me just tell you, I didn't show you in the clip disinfecting my toilet because there's just only so far I can go on the internet. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I've never disinfected a toilet that hardcore before. Let me just tell you that. It was intense. Intense. Anyway, it feels so nice to have a nice, clean, disinfected bathroom. I'm like gonna make Eric go to the bathroom in the other bathroom for a while just to keep this nice and pristine. So now I'm debating on whether I should go to the kitchen and just finish the cleaning portion of this video or if I need a little break. I did wash my hands so intensely after that clean because I was just feeling so icky, but I think I may go to the kitchen and just like bang it out. You know what I mean? Let's do it. Oh my Lanta. This is seriously bad. Honestly, it's actually not that bad. Like there aren't dishes everywhere. It's just like mostly trash that needs to be gathered. So thankfully I have these Amazon packages that I can load up all the trash with and that'll make it easier, hopefully. And I can just walk all this out to the trash. Let's try that. And then we just need to like wipe down surfaces and put stuff away. I'm not doing dishes. There's only a few dishes and Eric can handle that when he feels well enough. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna put you on fast mode. Let's clean this crap up, okay? Okay, apologies if you can hear our laundry going in the background very loudly. It's on like the spin cycle, so it's so loud, but you know, such is life, deal with it, okay. I am using Barkeep to clean the stovetop, which is so good at getting rid of any sort of gunk. And then I'm transferring a big old jug of Windex refill into our just normal Windex bottle because that's what I have to use to clean the island countertop. It's different from all my other countertops. I love, love, love my kitchen, but I hate the countertop on the island because it's tiled. Who does that? It's so hard to clean. I want to replace it. Oh yeah, baby. I feel so much better about this kitchen. Yay, everything is nice and clean. The only thing left to do are those dishes over there, which I'm leaving to that hooligan. So I am very, very, very happy to have a nice clean kitchen now. Look at that horrible lighting coming in on the back. Bad, bad, bad. Anyway, now I'm gonna go see if the laundry needs to be changed. I've been rotating the sheets through and I think it's time to deal with this. Yeah, probably like three days past time, honestly. Okay, you guys, you can hear the shower going in the background. It is time for a deep shower. Look, oh my gosh, 
So I've been too scared to shower. I'm gonna talk to you as I brush this mane out because you know how hot showers or hot baths can make you vomit? Well, vomiting is my least favorite thing ever. I kind of have a phobia of vomiting, honestly. And I've already vomited twice in the past three days. So, oh, that brushed out so much nicer than I thought it would, wow. Crazy. You don't even want to see the hair on the hairbrush. Look at that. That is crazy. Clean that out real quick. I've been too afraid to shower because I don't want to, I didn't want it to make me vomit. By the way, I'm putting in this, um, it's a pre-wash scalp oil. It's from JVN, Jonathan Van Ness, his hairline. It's really good. Just makes your hair like shinier and healthier looking. You put it in your scalp and on your ends. You just leave it in like 15 minutes before you get in the shower. So what I was saying was, Obviously, I've been too afraid to shower. So right now, I've got it going on like lukewarm. So I'm just gonna take a lukewarm shower, even though I feel so, so, so much better today. You just like never know once you get into the shower in the heat, how it's gonna go. So that is the plan. I'm gonna let this sit for like 10-ish minutes. So while we're here waiting on this to do its magic, let me show you a new product I'm so excited to use, so excited. So I have had the worst trouble, like the worst trouble, and it's worse in the winter, with dry scalp. So I get super dry scalp, I get dandruff, I use a dandruff shampoo, that seems to help a little bit. The problem is my hair itself is pretty greasy, so it's like a catch-22. If I use like dandruff shampoo that's super moisturizing on my scalp, it makes my actual hair oilier. So I'm gonna trade this, it's the Living Proof Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatment. And I got this one because you put it on clean hair, you don't put it on dirty hair and then rinse it out like some other scalp treatments. You wash your hair, get your hair nice and clean, and then when it's damp, you section out your hair and put this directly onto your scalp, massage it in, and then let it dry in your hair as your hair continues to dry naturally. And so I'm hoping that it's a product that will treat my scalp without, since it's made to be leave-in, without making it my hair itself super oily. Does that make sense? So I don't know if it works. We're gonna try it together for the first time in this vlog. Okay, let's jump in the shower. Catch you on the other side. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like a whole new woman. Wow. It's amazing what a cold slash lukewarm shower can do for you. Oh my gosh, I feel incredible, incredible. Okay, let's do the scalp treatment, shall we? I've moisturized, I've deodorized. I need to brush this hair out. So basically it just says section your hair and apply it directly to the scalp. So, and it says to damp hair. I did a good job of getting the initial wetness out of my hair. Now that I'm brushing through it, I feel like I probably need one more scrunch. Okay, that's probably good enough. I think what I'm gonna do is just, just go for it, you know? Just gonna section it. Is it getting in there? Oh, it is. It smells good. I'm literally just separating this with my fingers, not being super scientific about it at all. This is just an experiment, and I'm getting a bunch in the front because this is where it gets like really freaking bad is in the front of my head. It's like a gel almost. It's very interesting. Massaging it in. I am very skeptical about this not making my hair oily at all. Oh, it feels good. It feels like it's doing something like it kind of um it doesn't feel tingly necessarily it just feels um like I can feel like something is going into my scalp you know what I mean I think I'm actually not gonna do the back I think I'm just gonna experiment with the front today because a I just kind of want to see if it does anything before I use it all over my whole head and B, the front of my hair is really what gets oily. The back, or what gets dry, the back gets oilier quicker. It doesn't get as dry. So we're just going to, this is so fascinating. You guys have used this, let me know down below. Oh my gosh, I look like 2007 um, emo kid. 
I was never one of those kids, okay? But if you were, more power to you. Fascinating. Okay, I am going to put just a little bit, like all at the base of my scalp back here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of massage it through my hair and we're gonna let it dry. I will probably like clip it up like so, so that the roots can breathe, you know what I mean? So they're kind of up, they can dry, not touching the scalp. We'll see, we'll see if it works. I got myself a Sonic drink, which I put in that Stanley right there. That one's water, don't worry, I've been drinking so much water. But I had a hankering for some caffeine. And I think that's the reason that I've had horrible headaches this whole time is because I've not any coffee, any soda. Not that I drink, I don't drink a lot of soda. I don't keep soda at home. I just drink water, but um, I typically drink coffee and water every day. Anyway, what I'm saying is I hadn't had caffeine for a couple of days. And I think that's why I had a horrible headache along with my sickness the entire time. Because today I had coffee for the first time this morning and now I'm having a little bit of, well, that's a lot, but a lot of Dr. Pepper, a nice treat. I have no headache. Crazy. So I'm going to chill here. I just switched the sheets around again. They're almost done. And watch some YouTube, chill, and maybe work on my reading journal. Let me show you what I got. So I want to do more like book vlog type videos. I know I do like sit down book chats, but I think it would be more fun to do them vlog style. Those are the kind of videos about books that I like to watch is watching people like read through a book. I'm still going to do all the other kinds of videos we do on this channel, but I think instead of sit down book chats, for the most part, I'm going to try to do a couple of book vlogs instead sprinkled here and there. So this isn't going to become a sole book channel. I'm not doing any more book videos than I typically do in case you're not into that. There's still plenty of other reasons to stick around, but if you are, stay tuned and subscribe because I think I'm going to kick off my book vlogs with trying to read for 24 hours straight. A lot of booktubers that I follow that I love like Haley Pham and Destiny Sidwell have done that video and I love watching people do that so I'm going to try it out for myself. Anyway that's not what I was here to say. What I was here to say is I also have seen people do book journals in like bullet journal form and I've done bullet journals many, many years. I never keep them throughout the whole year. So that's my goal this year is to start just a book journal. That's what's been wrong in the past with I think my bullet journals I've tried is I've tried to make them so many things in one and it just becomes overwhelming to keep up with. But if it's just a book tracking journal, then I think it's really gonna be successful. A, because I think it would be so fun to have a nice pretty product at the end of the year of all the books I've read. But also two, I want to take more time to digest and remember books I read right after I read them instead of just hopping into the next one like I typically have. I think it'll help me not forget the plot of books that I really love as much as I have um, because I read like a fiend. And three, I want to hit a hundred books read this year. So I think having a book journal that documents all that will really help motivate me to get my goal. So I got this beautiful, isn't this such a pretty color bullet journal? It's got the dotted lines and oh, I just love bullet journals and it's the big fat one. And then I got these fun markers. They are dual tip brushes. And so um, the top part is like a more flowy fat brush and the bottom is like a felt tip. So I'm so stoked about that. We may start that a little later, but for right now I'm feeling a little like I maybe pushed it a little bit too hard. So I'm gonna sit here and rest for an hour or so and then maybe we'll get going on my book journal and I'll show you what I do for that. This is monumentous. Is that the right word? That sounds wrong for some reason. I'm making myself some real food for the first time ever. It is like 2 p.m. But I'm feeling well enough to actually eat some protein. So I'm making myself some eggies. Hooray. I cannot overemphasize what that shower did for me. <laughs> this made me a whole new woman. <laughs> so I'm going to make these scrambled eggs, have some good protein, maybe eat some apples and peanut butter. I may also do some meal prep and put away some grocery stuff in this video. It's just going to be a whole lot of getting better, recovery, recovery vlog, you know? I'm rambling. Okay. I'm gonna eat my Uggies. And then maybe we'll make the bed. All right, sheets are done. Let's put them on the bed, shall we? So in a second, you're about to see me rotate the mattress. If you don't rotate your mattress, what are you doing? You need to be rotating your mattress. It's number one, just satisfying. Look at that. Oh, that is just so satisfying. But number two, it helps not make your mattress like super lumpy and lopsided over time. Also, 
I sometimes do really, really good at putting the duvet cover onto our 30 pound weighted blanket. Yes, 30 pounds. It is a two person job. Eric and I are so good at it normally, but this time we were just sucking it up. We did it all the wrong way. I had to totally like finagle it and mess with it and redo it like three times. So, and it still does not look perfect, but RIP to this try. Oh, oh my gosh. Having clean sheets is the greatest feeling in the entire world. Actually, being clean and having clean sheets, best feeling ever. Oh, I love this. I can lay here forever. I do need to rest. I'm feeling a little over zealous about my capacity today. My back is starting to hurt weirdly. I'm just so happy about these clean sheets. So is Pippa. Oh my gosh. I just pulled my minky straight out of the dryer. It's like warm, cozy, so soft. <laughs> I got this new giant, like I'm talking ginormous minky blanket for Christmas and I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. I'm feeling it so much better. So much better. Okay, friends. It is evening time. I'm just literally chilling in bed trying to like take in the last of the relaxation before I go back to work tomorrow. But I wanted to show you two updates. One, my hair is like 95% dry. And I will say that it is not um, oily. Like my that mask did not make it oily. It feels totally normal. Honestly, it feels like a tiny bit grittier than normal, which I like. Um, as to it helping my scalp, it's way too early to tell. I will say it's not itchy at all, which is good. It typically isn't the day I wash it though. So I guess only time will tell of me reusing it if it helps with the dandruff and the dry and the itchiness of my scalp. But so far, I'm very pleasantly surprised that it did not make my hair oily, even though it's leave-in. I'm like, mind blown. Okay, so that's the update on the scalp treatment. And then I want to show you what I've been doing this evening working on my book journal. It is not done, but I did finish the cover page. <gasps> look how cute that is. Miley's book journal. I look like such a 12-year-old, but you know what? I love it. It brings me great joy. And then this page. Oh, yeah, baby. Books by genre. So basically what I'll do is every time I read a book... I will, like I've already read one book this year, I will fill in one of the books with the title of the book and then color code it based on all the different genres that I read. So this was, actually I read Leah Remini's memoir, Troublemaker, which is about her time in the Church of Scientology and it's crazy, like crazy. So I'm so excited to fill this in. I'm not finished. What I basically want to do is create a page now for each book I read. So like this first page, actually what I'll probably do is make a title page for each month. So I'll just put January here and then I'll do a page per book I read in January. And I plan to do the cute little printout of the cover glued in with the title and the star review and then just like some jotted thoughts about it. So I'll do that for every single book categorized by month. I hope I have enough pages. My plan, yeah, I do, definitely do. My plan is to read 100 books this year. So there are exactly 100 books on this guy. I cannot wait to fill it in. I just think that is so stinking cute. That is where I got so far tonight on my book journal. I'm going to shut this for now and literally just lay in bed the rest of the night to really ease into it. I'm excited to go to work tomorrow and really we've got a slow January until middle of the month when it's my birthday and my mom and I are going to Disney World. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So really that's the next thing coming up. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned so you don't miss that or any of the other fun shenanigans we get into on this channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!